some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel. But to be fair, what game like have I played on my channel that wasn't violent and didn't have particularly cruel moments? Anyway, hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. I sound so upbeat for no real reason. Okay, sorry for that abrupt jump cut. I just did that just in case that little, like, the little montage or, you know, trailer of sorts that started up. You know, like, j j just in case that had spoilers. Because, I mean, Silent Hill 2 had spoilers in its little, like, video thing. What? No? What? What? Why, why are you on... Why are you cycling through languages? Oh, great. Are all of my freaking controllers for the PS2 just broken right now? I hope not. Okay. This seems to be fine. Yes. Change that setting because we're having subtitles on. So if you follow me on Twitter, you might, you know, realize that I'm a big proponent of the fuck Konami hashtag and... Yeah, you know, I, I still am, and yeah, you know, you might be wondering, like, well, why are you less playing Silent Hill 3, and, you know, I mean, I, I, I could just say that I'm doing this to celebrate the glory years of Konami, I mean, hell, you have people just going, like, crazy on Konami and all the bad stuff they were doing, but then, um, Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain came out, and everybody was like, okay, Fuck Konami after I'm done playing this game. Like, you know, they're, they're just saying like, Oh, well, this is essentially, you know, Kojima's swan song. So in a way, I'm supporting Kojima and not Konami. Yeah, but Konami's still getting your money. So, yeah, if they can be hypocrites with playing Metal Gear Solid 5, I can be a hypocrite by Let's Playing Silent Hill 3. And yeah, we're keeping the difficulty and the riddles on normal because I'm a normal person. Oh my god, is this the quickest I've started a survival horror game on my channel? I believe it is! So, let's see how utterly disturbing this intro will be. I mean, the Silent Hill games, they still don't scare me. I just enjoy playing them. It's really weird, like... Silent Hill doesn't really scare me. They, they're just fun games to me. Um, oh, and of course, this is going to be a blind playthrough. I never played Silent Hill 3. But I heard it's a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1? But we're, we're just skipping over the events of 2? Okay. And yeah, Resident Evil, uh, that doesn't scare me. And But to be fair, I've never really played Resident Evil games. I've only ever played Resident Evil 2 and Cold Veronica X. And I've never beaten e either of them, so yeah. I don't know. The survival horror Resident Evil's just never really did it for me. They're in a way they're kind of boring in a sense, but whatever. She doesn't know where she is. But she has a knife and we have like dead mascots. Oh god, I have to get used to this again. Okay, so yeah, tank controls. Is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I examine you? Don't you just hate it when you fall asleep with spaghetti sauce all over you? Oh my god, the control. I, I have to get used to this again. Oh man. A rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. There's someone in there. It looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. Some detective you are if you... Well, okay, you're not a detective, but whatever. I, I forgot about the controls. The freaking tank-like controls. Oh, God. I don't even know why I'm exploring back here. Okay, it won't open for me. Can you run? Oh, I can do that. Okay, square. All right, all right, all right. So, standard control. Is that something flashing right here? No. My mind is playing tricks on me. 
Also, it doesn't help that I'm playing this with a third-party controller. That was another reason why, you know, the awkward jump cuts at the beginning existed. I had to change controllers because my actual PS2 controller was acting strange. I'm in a cagey box thing. Could it be a cage? Okay, I don't really want to stare at it very, very long, whatever it is. Yeah, you are wise. This is like the worst amusement park ever, by the way. What the hell? Okay, you are very descriptive, woman person. Isn't your name Heather? I, I, I have the manual right here, and, you know, in, in true gamer fashion, I did not look through it. Okay. A huge map signboard to the north that is. If I keep going the way I'm facing, I'll find the roller coaster. Wait, what was that? Is this an amusement park? I mean, you couldn't tell by the freaking thing that says Lakeside Amusement Park right there. You, you couldn't stretch your neck in an upward angle like an inch or two to see that, uh, what, 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 whatever. You, already I'm beginning to question your intelligence. And I've only just met you. Also, I, oh? I have no inventory to check then. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's select. It's select. Never mind. My status. I have no memos. I do have options, though. We got. Oh, they, 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 they sort everything now. So my items are radio and the flashlight and then the knife. Okay, homegirl is packing. Um, uh, wh why don't you have any of this other stuff equipped? W wow. Uh, she is packing. And I already have a health drink, first aid kit, and handgun bullets. Um, okay. Cool. Wow, I was not expecting that. Did I miss something here? It's popcorn wagon, but no one's here to sell it. Where did they go? Maybe they're dead. Okay, yeah, we got the what the exclamation. Okay. A map would be nice. Plot would be nice. More dead mascots, though. Oh crap. Yeah, don't 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 fall down the hole, woman person. Okay, well I can't go in that bathroom and I can't go in there, so already I have no earthly clue what I have to do. Um hmm. Oh, I can also sidestep, too. Oh, okay, there we go. So do I have to cut these ropes? No. Okay, well, I'm officially uh, run out of options now. Give me a second. Oh, camera angle change. Okay, may maybe I go in here then. Yes, I do. I am stupid. Is that really the loading screen? Oh, God. Did I miss some story here? What? I'm already fighting creatures? And I'm using this piddly little knife? Clearly, I am crazy. This is a very stupid idea, and I don't recommend it. And yet, I'm still sticking with it. It's probably going to kill me, because I'm stubborn. 
They are really tossing me right into the fray. Come. Okay, this knife freaking thank you. Are you dead? You might be dead. Okay. Eh, you're yellow, you're fine, but, um... Screw that, I'm equipping that steel pipe. That knife freaking sucks. Well, at least the camera is a lot more friendly in this game. I really feel like I'm missing something here. Like, did, did I accidentally skip? Maybe I did have to watch that little intro video before the main menu? Oh, this camera is just great. Like, you press L2 and it immediately centers behind you. I like that. Anything wants some? I have a steel pipe now. I am... Okay, uh... I take back what I said. I take back what I said. You are big. Um... Yeah. Screw it. Okay. Yeah, just just that weak weak sauce little kick right there. Okay. Um please tell me I have more ammo. Uh <laughs> Well, we see how I would do in a horror setting if this were real. I would be dead. I would die. Quickly. Okay, that's broken. It's like they're already tossing the big guns out at me and I don't even know what the plot is yet. I mean, hell, at least Silent Hill 2 opened up with saying like, James, remember our special place? Meet me there. This is just like, hey, I've woken up in a haunted freaking amusement park, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're just going with that. There's a rabbit stuffed animal here. Oh, there are boxes of cookies and chocolates on display. What, what was that? I love this kind of stuff, but I don't feel like eating it here and now. Yeah, good, good idea. I mean, you're only in hell. Okay... Hmm. She is taking this really in stride. Roll of shirts for sale. I don't think they help me at all. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we, we, we got a rabbit. Stuffed animal. Mouth part is stained red. Almost like blood stains. Disgusting. Take some of that money. That might help you out. No, oh, never mind. Okay. Also, the... Controller is rumbling like hell to, you know, tell me that I'm kind of low on health right now, but I'm being stubborn and I'm checking for things that I might be able to collect in here. No avail. And the lock is broken. So what was the point of me coming in here? There has to be something in here. A map. Anything... Is that where I came in? No, that looks like where I came in from. But I can't go in there. What? The super near type toys. I thought I'd say normal in a place like this. Is there seriously any point to being in here? Okay, fine. Well, this was pointless. Did those enemies respawn? I feel so stupid for wasting my submachine gun ammo on one enemy. It, it took one whole clip. Well, what's in here? The lock is broken. Okay. Wait, 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 we passed a door. 
camera angle changed on me, so I have to go in here. Mountain coaster. Okay. Roller coaster. We're going. There's evil afoot. And I'm dead. I probably should have heated. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. You know what? Maybe I will just treat this like a survival setting and, um, you know, try to survive. Like, run from things. Oh, crap. Get out of here, dog. Come on. Am I hitting the pole? Okay, wow. Um What what is going on? <laughs> what is this? Um, I don't What? Yeah, yeah, let, let's just start this whole thing over because I... Am I missing something here? Wait, was I supposed to die? That was supposed to happen? So I could have just died earlier then? I, I, I've just grabbed the manual and well, okay, looks like we're about to get some plot. Some much needed plot. It's only 20 minutes into the freaking recording. Well, some of that's going to get cut, but still. At least it was all a dream, so I didn't actually waste anything, so that's good. I will say, that's a nice way to, like, introduce the game. It's like, toss you right into it, like, here, survive, bitch. Then it's like, oh, nope, yep, you're dead. But it was all a dream. Actually, it's neat, though, because that, that, I, I was kind of panicking for a moment, like, what am I supposed to do? What are these strong creatures? I am not equipped for this. <laughs> Dad, it's me. Yeah. There is something about her face. I don't... Uh. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to... Okay, I will. Something's about to happen. I love you too, Dad. I guess not. You know, just just to call to her dad. Uh. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. What is with detectives and survival horror games? Ha! Ah, burn. That wasn't really a burn. Hold just on. spurn. Ha ha, spurn. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. How old is she? Stranger danger. Also, I'm just trying to quietly cycle through the pages in the manual. You might be able to hear me still. This is a freaking old manual and... Oh, okay. Yeah, it only mentions three characters. Heather, uh, the heroine of her story, just an ordinary girl with a bit of a sharp tongue and quick temper. On a typical Sunday, she goes shopping at a local mall and steps to a world nightmare. She's terrified of the bizarre situation. She finds herself and she nonetheless has courage to fight back and survive. 
We'll be meeting a girl named Claudia later uh, Later on. I'll read her little thing when we get to her. And Douglas, a middle-aged detective, for some unknown reason, is following Heather through the mall. Will he prove to be an ally to Heather, or is he her enemy? Ooh, we don't know. Anyway, we're in a bathroom because, you know, Silent Hill always has to start off in a bathroom. Mark on the million, bleh, the mark on the mirror. It looks so familiar somehow. Is that the mark from Silent Hill One where they did the circle and stuff? And probably should have explored the bathroom for. Oh, we're saving. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. Yes. Why? Why did you cycle through all of the things? Okay. Well, well. Let's go ahead and save right there. And save right there. Hmm. Because, you know, backup saves and whatnot. So, uh... Should I stop now? Like, literally nothing happened in this part. Uh... I don't know. This was so unfulfilling for a first part of a new LP. Let, let, let's at least try to get to something interesting, shall we?